A local little boy celebrates the end of his chemotherapy. Here's more on his journey over these past two years. These are cheers for Jordan J.J. Moten, a Bakersfield boy who has been battling cancer. More than two years ago, J.J. was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. His diagnosis was completely unexpected. Like he was diagnosed at a random, just his four-year-old normal checkup. Like there were no symptoms, he had nothing. Like it, it completely caught us off guard. And it was just, I thought we'd been in survival mode for, you know, two and a half years. But this week, JJ took his last chemotherapy pill. I'm thankful to be at the end. Just to still have him with us is the biggest, the biggest thing because, you know, you meet so many families and friends and they don't, they don't get to this point and it's, it's devastating. And you immediately put yourself in that place because you know it could be your reality too. And so I am just grateful doesn't begin to explain how thankful I am to just have gotten here to the end, to have him here and for him to be feeling so good and, you know, just doing so well. But the road to get here hasn't always been so easy. But there's so many emotions, just depressed and just in disbelief. And then you kind of get to these points where they're doing a little better and you see the light a little bit. They discovered early on JJ was extremely sensitive to chemotherapy and what should take eight months of intense chemotherapy became 11 months for him. And that was, I'd say, the toughest because that's when they go through the physical changes. You, it's when they actually look you know, like you can tell that they're sick. Right now you wouldn't, if people that meet him now have no idea, even though he's just finishing treatment, you wouldn't know. But during that phase, it's just hard to see them during the very first month, they get really big and puffy because of the steroids and they, they just hurt a lot. And then the next phase, it's like they lose it all and they're sick a lot. Every phase has its rough, you know, spot. With the help of friends, neighbors, and so many more, they were able to surprise JJ over the weekend with a celebration for all he has accomplished. <laughs> It was just overwhelming. We, you know, we, at first it was just going to be a few family and friends, and then it just turned out to be something so much bigger than we expected. And it just feels so good to know that other people care. You know, of course, he's our world, but to know that other people out there care about him and are willing to come out just to make his day meant a lot to us. Through it all, they have the mentality of taking it day by day, and that's what they'll continue to do. To just kind of take everything day by day, allow myself to feel whatever I'm feeling that day. I don't try to fight whatever it is. Even now with end of treatment, I feel like a mix of emotions. There's still fear for the future, you know, as like Now the family plans on traveling as much as they can, and JJ is looking most forwards to going to Legoland.